out of the way. We just want to bring you some joy because this is what we do at home. And um, you see Coco's even in the picture. She's got to be set up here. We just get this. You want to chat a little while I get this set up? No, just, I mean, thanks for joining. And the only thing that I wanted to say is um, as we're toning, as we're doing what we're doing, uh, I look at it as truth vibrates at a certain frequency. And so, and how do you know it's the truth? Because you feel it in your heart. Your heart basically is the, the voice for your higher self, for the universe, for whatever. And so, speaking of frequencies, when you're toning, you can then create all different kinds of frequencies in your body. And so, when it resonates with truth, that's when you know real healing can begin. And that's why I wanted to just start with truth resonates at a certain frequency. And it's whatever your frequency is. It's not just like there's just this one vibration and this one frequency that exists. Um, so I'll bring in fancy grounding again. <laughs> yeah, because you can't understand what I'm saying, right? No, you can understand what she's saying. But let's get to some of the things that so again, I, some of you are new here, some of you aren't, so if I'm repetitive about it, that's just the, the nature of this and repetition. Um, this is a Shruti box. This is what I'm going to play. It is an ancient accordion. Uh, let's do this. Let's press this. Okay. Uh, it's like an ancient accordion. It has its bellow here, so there's your fan. And it has the reeds under here, and these little spools are open to what I want it to, where the sound is going to be produced. So I'm doing it as an octave and a fifth, and um, that is going to be my drone, much the same as if you were to play your blender, or your vacuum, or your bathroom fan. Those things are really harmonic tones that sound like noise, but if you really focus in on them, you can sing to them. Now, to do vocal toning, you don't have to have a voice. You just have to be able to make a sound out of your voice box here. And um, there are different things that you can do with your voice. Uh, in order to create harmonics, you can use, we use vowels. You can stay on the same note the whole entire time. Or you can change it around if you want to. It's very free. Uh, you... If you, you play with it, you'll notice that if you say A, even if you speak A, it's going to be very different than if you say E or I, I, or O, or U, or U. Like you go U. The harmonics, that's one of my favorite ones. U. Um, you will actually hear other tones coming out of your mouth. If you pinch your nose when you're talking and you're trying to do that, you'll see this. You'll get, you get a lot of different tones coming up. So play with it. It's, a, it's just to be play, playful. Um, what else? M. If you do M's or G's, like soft G. G. Like, or S. Or you can make sounds while you're doing it. You can sing and you go, or, 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 ah. These are sounds that get rid of sadness and anger and grief and uh, what am I missing? I'm missing one of them. But they're to H get emotion. What? Hatred. Hatred. Which is very appropriate for now because there's so much of that running prevalent. That's I prefer right. to focus on the joy. There's still joy in this world. There's still a lot of joy in this world. There's, everybody is going to go through some form of pain in their lifetime. It's part of your journey. And it's how you deal with it. And our hearts are with everybody that's suffering right now, but we want to bring joy into the world. And uh, Right, and, and, and on this particular occasion, if when you're toning and you want to focus on vibrating the heart, um, the heart is obviously the place of love and forgiveness, and when it's not, it is the place of chaos and fear, and fear unchecked turns to hate. So might be a really you know, great day to be working on that heart chakra while you're toning. And, and I know the rest of the world could use it as well. Okay, so we're going to start. And um, you can sing any note. If you're, if, you're, if you're tone deaf, there are a lot of people that I work with that are tone deaf, and I work with them on really 
sinking into pitch. In this instance right now, I don't care what your voice sounds like, just sing it out. Like, I, I. Um, when you sing, and you have different, res different resonating chambers in your body, just to, you have your head, like Smokey Robinson sang up in his head voice, you have your nose, Barbara Streisand does a lot of work in her nose, you have your throat, and you have your chest. Um, you can combine them. When you're doing this kind of thing in your nose, you can get the rest of it to come out in your mouth. You can angle the air in your mouth up at the soft palate, back out against your teeth, and you'll notice, okay, you helping me? You'll notice um, different sounds that are produced because of that. So there's no right or wrong here. It's really you playing with it and seeing what works for you. What sounds do you make that actually feel good in your body? Because we can heal ourselves with sound. So let's just, let's play. Ready? I... Thank you. 
So did anybody feel that in their heart, by chance? Um, Whew, I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. I felt that down to my toes. Yeah, it's, um, I just, I lost my voice, actually. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, if you, uh, if you felt it in your heart or anywhere specifically in your body, let us know. That'd be great. Uh, because the last part uh, in the sounds that we were making, it was specifically to emulate certain sounds that are made out in space and in a spiral, which is the basically the Milky Way galaxy that we live on. Everything is a spiral, and your chakras spin in a spiral. And so what we were intending to do is in that last moment, we were spinning your heart chakra with the tones that we were doing. And so just curious if anybody felt like that. If you are to do this, or were to do this for 10 minutes a day, just 10 minutes, it would affect you in a great way. And it really, you'd be more relaxed. You might sleep better if you're having trouble sleeping. If you did this. And you're more, ever more grounded, um, since I have such great trouble with being grounded on this earth. Um, it does help to ground me and put me back in my body. And it's fine. It's fine because it really doesn't matter how you sound. You can make whatever crazy noises you want to make as you well saw that I did. And I tried to do some for, for you to, to get you to do the basics and then transform them into something that became uh, greater with the harmonics or increased the <clears throat> harmonics in it. Um, so we do this every Sunday at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And it doesn't matter where in the world we're going to be, where we are, we'll be here at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, and on a Wednesday nights, we are doing the bowls now at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So if you're getting ready to go to bed or you're just waking up in the morning, it's a great time to listen to the bowls for a half an hour. You just close your eyes and, and just feel it. And you just want to just wanna share love with the world. You just want to give joy to the world. It's... It feels good, and we need some of that. We can't be focusing on all the negative. We have to rejuvenate ourselves and have something to look forward to. Um, but we find joy within, within our walls. We find joy. And that's what you have to remember is that if you're finding that you're getting overwhelmed by the things in this world, it's a choice, and you have the ability to find the joy, even if it's just for a moment. Even if it's a little teeny bit all of light, focus on that so you can open up your hearts and start to, to expand that. Um, and uh, um, let's see. I think, uh, I think we're going to call it. Call it a day. Yeah. Open up the window as it gets there. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> it is. Um, but, um, and so thank you for, thank you for coming. Yep. And and singing with us, and um, I'm going to look into doing a Zoom so that we could do this live on Facebook and have everybody singing together. I think that would be yeah, kind of fun. Yeah, that would be really fun. And until then, much love to everybody, and peace in your heart, and peace in your mind, and carry that out to the rest of the world. Because remember, our thoughts create our reality, and all of this can be changed in an instant by changing your belief. So love yourself. Love yourself and know you matter. Yeah, now walk to me. Walk to me and see what happens. Walk to me. Keep coming. Okay, that's perfect. These are funky chimes. Um, a lot of people just play them or they, they go like this.
like it's a charm that you hear about and win. But we like to really glam. So this is, uh, you want to just close your eyes for five minutes and sit back and just take in. There we go. 